Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I have a book review of 11 minutes by Paulo Colo. So before I start off this uh, book review, I'd also like to tell you that this book is not for children, it's an adult book, hence my book, book review is also going to be adult uh, book review and it's going to be a non-spoiler book review. So please go ahead, calm down and enjoy the book review. Alright, so I will start off this book review by first reading the synopsis. 11 minutes tells the story of Maria. A young girl from a Brazilian village whose first innocent brushes with love leave her heartbroken. At a tender age, she becomes convinced that she will never find true love, instead believing that love is a terrible thing that will make you suffer. A chance meeting Rio takes her to Geneva where she dreams of finding fame and fortune, yet ends up working as a prostitute. In Geneva, Maria drifts further further away from love while at the same time developing a fascination with sex. Eventually, Maria's despairing view of love is put to the test when she meets a handsome young painter. In this odyssey of self-discovery, Maria has to choose between pursuing a path of darkness, sexual pleasure for its own sake, or risking everything to find her own inner light and the possibility of sacred sex, sex in the content of love. So, as you can see, this book is to be read in a very different manner and try, try going into it completely with an open mind and I think you uh, enjoy it a little more because that's where I was going with it after a long time. I read an adult novel and it was quite a different experience for me. Uh, I would also like to say that uh, this book was recommended to me by a friend and I did enjoy it but of course I also have a lot of thoughts for it. So I'd like to say that um, every quote and uh, decision or act that the character makes or goes through or just the way of the writing of the author may not agree with you and of course it's your own perception as to how you go with the story what, what do you believe what do you disbelieve you put it aside you analyze all of it and that's actually one of the best uh, ways to go with fiction especially uh, these very different kind of uh, adult novels and I have read this author's book before. I read uh, The Alchemist, but I think I was too young when I read it. I do not know if it's also written for children, but uh, this book was quite adult. I felt quite uncomfortable in some places and quite comfortable with some other ones. So I'd like to analyze uh, and judge Maria's character as a whole. She she doesn't start out as a great person at all. In fact, uh, there are uh, warning of sexual abuse in this, and I think you're able to guess who I'm talking about when I say that Maria is not a great person. She doesn't start out to be a great person. And she has a lot of flaws. She, uh, she's very delusional at times. She is, she thinks that she's very wise and very confident in what she does. And often she also turns out to be quite the coward. And I, I didn't like her in the beginning, but slowly, weirdly, she grew on me and. <laughs> I'm actually quite uncomfortable with that fact because I, from the very beginning, I decided not to like her. Uh, I still had mixed feelings about her even till the end because there were not a lot, a lot of things that the way she executed them is something I would have done. 
but it did make me understand her as a character because the whole story is from her perspective. A little bit of other characters do come in, but that's like very less. It's mostly from her perspective, even though it's not like a uh, very, very first perspective, like I or anything like that. Um, it's uh, quite subjective though. I found uh, Maria's character to improve uh, through the through the first no through the last half year of the book, and I see a lot of character development there. Even though there were a lot of parts like her jumping to conclusions and being assumptions about uh, people like the men that she meets, since we know that she becomes a prostitute. She is very fickle in the beginning, like she just gets carried away with whoever comes along, she's on vacation and um, uh, I don't like how she sees pain, I don't like how she sees suffering and I especially do not like the fact that uh, the way she sees love. She sees it as this whole burden cage thing which, which really annoyed me because Eventually, uh, if if you see someone you love and you see them returning feelings, I don't think you should make the assumption as to what you think is correct for that person. Uh, it's a very, very simple uh, way to find out if they also want to be with you and want to be in a relationship with you by just asking them and often she does not do that. and. I thought that she was really cowardly in that place. She could have just avoided that drama altogether by asking that person what they want from her too. And I don't like how she saw the combination of sex and love. And I think she was very uh, immature in that place. But I, I really like the character that she meets, the handsome man. And I think he he teaches her what love really is and it was beautiful. It was uh, really great and I, uh, I'd like you to read the book to know what I mean by that. It was very educative honestly. I, I mean, I'm not saying that in a mansplaining way or anything but I think he really opened my eyes to and I love how they met. I liked that relationship even though I was not, I was very rarely rooting for her to be honest. I rooted for other tiny characters more than herself. So there were at least four pages on BDSM uh, in the book and uh, the sexual parts of them were okay but I didn't like how when they um, compared it to God but uh, the the topic on BDSM wasn't too bad but sometimes it just didn't make sense at all as to how it was described like uh, there were just too many contradictions in it but uh, and, and then they started getting a little way too spiritual and religious and that's when I just like I, I was starting to become very really uncomfortable with the topic itself and then just put the book away for like a whole week uh, because it kind of triggered some very weird mood swings and I came back to it uh, a few days later again and then I finished the book last night and I just had so many thoughts for the book and uh, yeah sometimes the opinion was glorified way too much and I love how Ralph actually handled that uh, situation very well. He explained to Maria about a lot of things. There were really good uh, quotes on what Ralph thought pain is and what you can and cannot do with it. It's uh, it was quite good, and uh, I expected how the book ended. I really did, 
and I wasn't shocked with what, how it ended up. Of course, I'm going to spoil that for you. But I gave the book four stars. I, I mean, I haven't rated it yet on Goodreads or even on Instagram. And I'm going to put up the uh, book review soon on Instagram too. But yeah, I gave it four stars. I liked the story. I liked uh, that I did not fully like the character. I think it was a very uh, really heartfelt story and I have to tell you that this story is actually based off on a real person. Of course, they did not give the uh, real person's name. So he chose the word Maria and I, I would uh, I would recommend the book to people who are into this whole concept of religion and sacred sex and I love how they showed the life of a prostitute. I think, see, I've never been to those places or even talked to one but this felt like a very real representation and I really enjoyed it. So, thank you very much.